Today on Flashback, we'll take a look at what Scarborough Beach looked like 26 years ago today, September 20th, 1984, even as plans were underway to make the beach a lot more like it looks today. If all went according to plans drawn up by the Department of Environmental Management, this is what Scarborough Beach would look like after renovations. Ocean Road, now four lanes, would be reduced to two and moved back to allow safer access to the beach. Lido's and Olivo's beaches adjoining Scarborough would become part of the state beach. This would provide additional parking. The beach pavilion would be enlarged and renovated along with the addition of a second smaller building. The plan also calls for the planting of trees and extensive landscaping of the entire area. But local residents don't like some of these ideas. They raised a number of questions which we're trying to address now. We think we've got some good compromises and some making some good progress on that. Scarborough is Rhode Island's largest state beach with as many as 10,000 people coming here on a hot summer day. Now even though the local residents that signed the petition represent a very small minority, the Department of Environmental Management and Governor Garrahy are very concerned that the new plan satisfies not only the thousands that come from out of town, but the few hundred local residents as well. Jeff Latham, Newswatch 10, Narragansett. All those changes and more are part of the Scarborough landscape today. And you're really a native Rhode Islander if you remember Lido's and Olivo's beaches on either side of Scarborough in the old days. You may even remember that uh, at Lido's and Olivo's you had to pay to park, but Scarborough was free. Something we wish we had today. Of course, I go back as far enough to remember when there was no state income tax in Rhode Island. Another thing we'd love to have today, right? The DEM director in that story, Robert Bendick, left Rhode Island later to take a similar post in New York State government. The reporter in 1984, Jeff Latham, is a medical malpractice attorney in Rhode Island today. That's flashback.